Hello and welcome to the John Ark Show. Today's episode is called Unresellable Electric Vehicles. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. Free is the important word here. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on the notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help spread the word. Now, let's get started. There is a growing possibility that electric vehicles will soon become unresellable by their owners. California is ordering uh, its EV owners not to recharge their vehicles. Why is that? Because they're having issues with their power grid. And, uh, uh, you know, all last month they were pushing the heck out of EVs. You have to buy an EV because in 2035 we're going to prevent people from selling brand new gas-powered cars. So purchase an EV as soon as possible. Then they're having issues with the power grids. What do they do? Now they're telling people, stop charging your EV. Can't get to work because of this? That's your problem. Can't drive the kids to school, can't go to the hospital for an emergency, can't go grocery shopping. These are your problems. These are not politician problems. They're your problems. EV companies are charging a fortune for uh, the software that allows the car to drive itself without the intervention of a human being. So they're charging a fortune for that, but guess what? In many, many cases, it's not working. So now uh, there are some entities and individuals out there who are taking legal action against them for selling them extremely expensive uh, autopilot software programs that do not work. What about EVs themselves bursting into flames? Well, half the charging stations in California don't work. Charging your vehicle for a long time is super inconvenient. Battery replacement costs are financially devastating. So. What about these cars, these EVs that burst into flames? Why aren't we hearing more about that? Well, the reason for that is some EV companies are putting a lot of money into sending teams out to prevent those incidents from getting news coverage. There are incidences out there where certain EV companies are paying substantial amounts of money to prevent these news stories from hitting the front page or your, your blogs your you know your channels online you know there's there's so much money at risk that they just can't allow this stuff to be made public now in some instances it has you know maybe somebody on the street with a smartphone videotaped a burning car maybe there were some other uh details that when uh that occurred which uh allowed the uh, the incidents to escape into the public news domain but a lot of these are still not being uh covered properly now now, there are electric vehicles that are purchased and driven in cold weather states, and the drivers are seeing that their drive time and their ranges on their vehicles collapses when uh, the cold weather hits those batteries. It just depletes them. And when the consumer who bought this car six months ago during the warm weather uh, goes out and uh, tries to drive it in the middle of winter and barely gets it to start, and he, and he sees that his estimated range is a fraction of what it was in the warm weather, then a certain amount of panic sets in. So, no matter what you're being told, you have to be very, very diligent in determining what the true facts are, what the true capabilities of these EVs are. Because in some cases, with some companies, they are not what they're being portrayed to be. So with that, I want to wish you good luck. I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up. So make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's story on all your social media to help spread the word. Thank you, and we shall talk to you soon. Bye-bye.